Yo, 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 yo. How are we doing? Let's get the hat sorted first of all. Quiet Storm 51 with the follow on Twitch. Much appreciated, my man. Jarman, welcome as well. <clears throat> we'll have to try something at some point, Jarman. Don't get a lot of time usually, but welcome along. Juba has already predicted we're going to get bad rewards, so you know that's going to be absolutely terrible. Thanks for that very much. DME Sounds, a welcome along as well. James, welcome. David, a welcome along. We've got Dan DRS. Nate Dog, what is up, my man? How are you doing? Porsche 1000, a welcome along as well. Nice to see so many people joining, <clears throat> as always do. So really appreciating that support, as always. And here we are. Kimo, what did you get? Kimo, what did you get this week? What was your reward? Did you get the faithful bad one? And Carlo says, no, <laughs> absolutely, Carlo. You know. Tricky, welcome along as well. Nice of you to join us too. 58. Oh, see, Kimo, it's turning around now. It's turning. The tide <clears throat> is well and truly turning. Watch on YouTube at QStorm. We appreciate it, mate. We appreciate science. Yeah, science. I mean, everyone was very happy about the weekend racing, on, unless you're a Max Verstappen fan, of course. Yeah, James, if anybody hasn't seen my rewards, obviously go and check it out. But it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Oh, I'm still, still trying to basically return off it. Avalanche as well, welcome them. Eight more, and then you're level seven. Yeah, if you are, let me know. If you've done GP this weekend, let me know in the chat what you got as your rewards. Make me feel um, not great, basically. <sighs> Dan got 36 Leclerc, 36 Carl. Oh, that's good. That's good. 100 <laughs> brute force for Porsche. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Kimo, he's took one for the team. Absolutely took one for the team. So, we're on our sprint journey at the moment, and we're going to be getting into it and hopefully getting some good crates. That is the plan, anyway. Appreciate Avalanche you supporting both streams as well. 100 Hamilton and Alex this weekend. Epic. Wow, epic out. Epic Alex ain't great. But 100 Hamilton is. Leclerc's obviously coming up in the percentage boosts as well. So I think Leclerc is at a 20% boost. So if you've got Leclerc, not this week, the week after, it's going to be good for Charles Leclerc. And if anybody is going to like Charles Leclerc. He's pretty all-rounded, so he's going to be some high-scoring points. Obviously, Legends are back this weekend. Just epic. Just epic will be usable this week. Well, unless you've got Rare and he's okay. That is for sure. So, P5 for Perez. And guys, I think we all know my love for Sergio Perez on this account. This account has absolutely blessed Sergio Perez. He's been our best driver for an absolute while. And I think it was only fair that we added this in. We took it from inspiration from Soteris. And I think you can all appreciate that we're going to use this a lot. And this is for the one and only Sergio Perez. Oh, Checo is a legend. Absolute animal. Oh, beautiful. Absolute. Checo is a legend. And... Oh, yes. Absolute legend. On our account, anyway. He's been a beast. And how many points are we on? 237. We are ploughing through. Series 12 at the moment. And I need to get some Kevin ones. That would be funny. I need to get the Home Alone Kevin, actually. You've made a good point there. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see if I can get him. Because um, that would be quite funny. You've reminded me. 
Let's see. Let's see if we can get him. That's quite good. Right, what we got? Come on! <laughs> I don't. I don't think that. One, I don't think I can use that one. I think I'm about frit everybody that was in the chat. Oh God! Oh, that fell out of me. Oh, I hope it's only me that's having the fun here. Yeah, Porsche. That's probably uh, that's probably what I do need. Uh, I will probably try and have a look. I'd see how it goes first. Dan, you have to have a humour, mate. You have to have a humour. <laughs> Evening, Mark, as well. Checo is a legend. Absolutely. He is a beast. <laughs> We're frightening James already. Told you it would frighten a few people. I didn't quite think it would be that loud. Um, I don't know if I can find any more. Um... I'd... Kevin! Maybe I can have that one. <laughs> maybe that maybe that one's a bit better. <laughs> I'll have to definitely add that one. Every time we stop behind Kevin Magnuson, we're getting a Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, James. Sorry, we apologise. Let's try it. We'll see if we can download this Kevin one. I don't. I've lost it now though. Was this one? Kevin! <laughs> so Kevin! <laughs> right, okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. Promise. Promise. I need to pit. I don't want the screaming version. Right, we're good. We can start racing now. What are we? P10. Keith, evening as well. Appreciate you coming on Twitch and saying hello. 200 for staff and 150 for that red bull. <laughs> Perez is decent. I mean, he's had his tough. He's had his tough moments, hasn't he? Absolutely. But there you go. Let's try. I'll have to probably do the Kevin one next time round, I reckon. Because I don't know if I'm going to get him this time. We'll see. We'll try one more. As Hamilton comes in. So everyone, anyone joining, we're going to be like, what the hell is going on in here? All right, I think. I think I might have got it. So let's get on to the point. So we've got Perez coming in this lap. Our legend Checo to come in with Hamilton currently down in P20. I mean, this looks like a little bit of a difficult matchup. But we're going to try and close this gap now. Dan, I'm blessing as much as I can, mate. And we've actually got... Right, I've got it. Hold on a minute. Let me set this up. I've got it. I've nearly done it. I promise. But I need... I need my stream deck. Oh, can I not load it at the same time? Maybe not. Maybe not. That'll be another day. Oh, I'm not even watching. I'm down in P20. Oh, Keith with a follow. You probably can, German. You can, absolutely. Why are we? P19. We had a bit of a mare trying to do this, but hey-ho. Well, it's all good fun and games. As Hamilton comes in, Perez carries on. I don't know where my... Um, yeah, I don't know why my stream deck's not loading. That's uh, slight annoying. Uh-oh, hold on. Coming back, don't worry. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I can't use it when it's in progress, but there you go. So, let's get this reward. We've probably got another two races, roughly, until we can use it. And hopefully we're going to get something good with Perez there and Hamilton in P14. So, hmm, well, how many points can we get? If we probably would have concentrated, we probably would have got a fair few more. But, I mean, hopefully this doesn't cost us. Fingers crossed. But let's catch up on chat anyway. Stryko, welcome. Um, who else have we got? 
yeah, we're just going to scare everybody, I think, with our uh, with our random sounds throughout the time. Easy. I mean, it's quite fun. Okay, Lewis, it's hammer time. Hammer time, Lewis, let's go! Ke look, look, Kevin's there! Kevin! Oh, Kevin just broke down. See you later, Kevin. See you later. Kajal, welcome as well. <laughs> Come on, we need the good rewards today. Got to be some good rewards in here. I mean, yeah, we need to concentrate a little bit more because we could have scored more points than that. And are we going to... Is that going to cost us? Oh, my God. We're losing as well. That is really going to cost us. We need full focus for two races now. We need none of this messing around. And we can try... And try and get this P1 crate... That's going to be the aim. Um, I don't know, Porsche. Uh, might be. Try it. <laughs> Let us know. P1 with Virtue. That is the dream. Virtue is the dream on them. Pretty much any account. Yeah, I know, David. He literally started smoking as we got past him. Which was... I mean, we'll definitely have to... I, I can't add it for some reason. I think it's because I'm live. And I'm using the stream deck, so it's not letting me load it up. Oh, no, I can do it. Hold on. I've got it. Don't worry, folks. We have now got it. Right. Downloads. Pop that in. Volume 100. And now... Are you ready? Kevin! <laughs> I'm so immature. So immature. So, P12 and P16. Belgium is probably the track that we didn't want to come across when we are doing sprints because you don't tend to score many points here. Everyone doing a free free, but it is going to dry in 1 minute and 58 seconds, which is interesting. Yeah, I'll have a look, Porsche. Maybe I'll check it in a couple just in case. Uh, let me check it on my other account, actually, and I'll let you know. Because I don't want to potentially come second here but Perez the legend is into P11 and we have got them coming we could could we get past this matchup uh what we got in the shop um I have got the full offer Porsche uh I don't know if you'll be able to see this uh you can't really see it but basically it's 3999 and that is for 12 just so you know. The no safety car. K Wong, I had a safety car two days ago. That's the first time I've had a safety car for a long time. But yes, you can still get safety cars. Uh, I just think it's still a bit more rare. I don't know if they've properly sorted that out yet. Uh, we're going to pit on lap three. We're just going to take some points here. Connor, welcome. Hope you're doing well, Connor. Welcome along. So, free free, and maybe some drawing conditions to help us get some points towards the end of this stint. Maybe, maybe not. Just push a little bit. Rival pushing as well. Four offers. One. Yeah, I've only got one on that account, so I can't see the other ones. Um, new update was just an engine upgrade, I think. Uh, Avalanche. Not for the cars, though. For the actual game itself. So, um, yeah, somewhat pretty background related. Um, no, no problem, K1. It was supposed to be working, put it that way. And it's not. Yes, Kajal, absolutely. We will be making plenty of videos for the new season. We'll be doing, hopefully, in the first few days, quite a lot of live streams. Trying to bring you the best hints and tips that are going. Epic Hulk from S10 Gold Crate. You know it's coming. No worries, Connor. Not a problem. Glad you glad to hear. Connor, just a pre-warning. If you are focusing on something, we do have some soundboards now, so prepared to be absolutely scared the out of if it randomly does come up. But hopefully we're gonna get something good. We need something good. Oh, I don't know what I'd like. I just got today George Russell, and considering I needed six George Russell last week. 
it would be the day today that I get six more George Russell. Oh, I should have pitted. I should have pitted. It's drying out fast. I didn't look at the weather. Yeah, me leaving Hutch has hit me hard, hasn't it? They've turned on all the bad stuff. And I should have pitted here because, I mean, Rival's, Rival's going to come past us. I wasn't watching again. We wish we're not got the attention span here. Come on. Look how slow we are, and he's going to come flying through with his soft tyres. <laughs> oh, no. Why did I just not look at the screen? We're the only ones coming into the pits here. Rival will come in as well, but the, the damage is done. Rival's going to take the victory, which I don't really mind. Let's see if we can claim some points. No worries, Connor. No problem. We're just being really basic yeah we're just not doing things right at the moment silver crate incoming tricky you know we've cost ourselves a p1 crate especially with getting belgium i mean we are going to make up a fair few positions here but it's not going to be positions we wanted look how slow everybody is never run out of tires or use the wrong tires at spa yeah porsche don't worry they're ready mate But it's not going to be too bad on points. We are going to take P4 and P7. I will take that. Not too bad. Uh, Dan, I think it just depends on what else you're running. But usually you're probably, you're definitely starting probably like P789 maybe on a good matchup. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to go into it. Not even going to look. We're going to come P2. You know it. You just know it. It's going to be P2 all along. <laughs> Here we go. One, three, seven, five. Team matchup. When we needed the matchup, it wasn't here. Now we've got it. But yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be swapping them out. Jartman, we need your help. That's for sure. 15 green crates in a row, run out of the other crates. <laughs> you never know, they could have. There's a local shortage on green crates. Right, let's just... I mean, we don't need to use Gladiator, but we'll stick it on. And hopefully we can push on. P2 Virtue, can it happen again? Maybe it could, Connor. Maybe it could. You never know, it could be. It could be something good. So we've had two of the longest tracks, really. I mean, Abu Dhabi is not a very quick track. And obviously Spa, definitely not. So, yeah, it's kind of definitely on for P2. Um, only... <laughs> oh, funny, Dan, funny. Uh, but yeah, well, like, let's see. Let's see if we can just scrape some good rewards. That's going to be what we... Virtue, a Series 12 driver, Max Verstappen, Lando Norris. I've only got level two. I'm going to struggle on this account this weekend. So maybe Lando Norris, probably every single crate would be a miracle. Um, who else could I probably get? Just anything usable. Obviously not. Album, Piastri, that one. Uh, tricky, yes. Las Vegas track is terrible. Uh, I did a sprint earlier today and I got it three times in a row. And I can assure you, it was as painful as it sounded. It was terrible. Dan's going P1 Weekly League, both accounts. Yeah, I've only got the effort to do one at the moment. Um, I mean, it's getting there slowly. Very slowly. But yeah, I can't be bothered to race the other account. If only I had the... I need to pay someone to run it for me, maybe. that's Maybe that's the way we go with it. So, P5. Main account needs to demote on Pierre, probably. Probably not a bad idea. Get some lower weekly GPs. Weekly leagues. Do you get the same... Dan, do you still get... Do you get the same rewards? Series 12, Series 12 at the top and 80 as well? Or is it lowered? Raise flags so no sprints for me this week. 
for what, Mark? Yeah, everyone's going to start slowly moving up now. Even me, even I started moving up so far. Yeah, you never know, Connor. You never know. Might, I might be disconnections week in, week out now. I'm going to need supporters on our side. Um, Porsche, potentially. Um, you might also get a lot of players from champs drop down into contender because they need that contender P1. If they can't get champion P1, they're going to start going after contender P1. That's why I recommended doing it earlier in the season. And that is why this account has a P1 contender because I tried it when I was down in series six and yeah, went perfect 19 out of 20 races, took P1 in contender. And I've got better than a champs P2 on my season score. So really, it was all about doing it the best way possible. But yeah, it's going to get quite busy. People... I mean, the last couple of weeks, GPs are going to be crazy because everyone's going to start going through the series. So anyone who stays low is going to benefit. And then if you've got a lot of them flag, um, like double flag boosters, the power-ups, use that sort of last week. So enter the GP on the Wednesday, use your flag boosters all the way through to Sunday, race quite a lot. But you'll be in the series 12 in no time. Good luck, Connor. Exactly, Tricky. P1 contender, you've got no stress now. The only thing that can better that is a P1 champion. And you've got no rush. Ruan, welcome. Hopefully I've said that right. Probably not, because I get everyone else's wrong. So there you go. Welcome along. And guys, girls, if you are watching and you haven't commented yet, just leave a leave, leave a name in the chat. Say hello. You don't have to say anything more. Just let's see who is watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe as well. Just every little helps to support the channel. There you go, Mark. Easy. You are the contender king. One out of one. No need to return to it unless you need good boosts and you can finish P1. Yeah, contender... Champion is going to be chaos wherever you are now, pretty much. Keith didn't need to do contender. Well, that's because he's got the P1s. He's still in the wrong club, he's our Keith, but he got the P1. Uh, OB, I think this is going to be a crate right now, but I think it might be a P2 crate. I don't think we're going to manage P1. We, we messed around on too many races, basically, trying to get the Kevin which we're probably not even going to come across Kevin again in these races. But let's see. It's going to be a P2 crate. It's, it's going to be. Come on. Please surprise me. Maybe the other guy needed a toilet or something and he had an internet outage and we've actually got P1. Come on. P1. P1. Oh, no, he ain't even got it. I thought he was short. Oh. I generally thought that was the great. Yeah, Porsche, it's because I've got it on stream starting. I'll have to re-add it, but... <laughs> I thought that was it. So literally now I've got to do another race and I already know that I'm going to finish second. That is absolute brilliant. That is honestly got right. I'll tell you something that happened. In my Discord earlier on today, one of the members was in the same group as me. Okay. He tagged me to say sorry, Azza, as he came P1 and he got virtue in p1 how annoying is that and the worst case was he came p1 he robbed my p1 of virtue and i got brute force in p2 
Callum, much love. Eight months, you nearly could have had a baby. You have been following for that long. Thank you, Callum. Appreciate your support and welcome in to... Wow, I'm, I'm sorry we couldn't give you better circumstances to join as we're about to get a P2. Pin sprint. Whip dog. How you doing, my man? Yeah, everyone give a dub for Callum. Everyone put a big W in the chat for Callum. Show you support. And if you are a current member, spam some emojis. Or whatever. Alejo and Eri's just had a race. Eri, welcome as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it, Dan. We, we've got to take the pain. Maybe Virtue is going to be in P2. Maybe P1 was Oscar Piastri. Nathan as well. Nathan Kelso, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we are just chilling in this race. Because Obi's ready for some bad rewards. Ready for the bad P2. Uh, Whip Dog, you can join as a WF1 and probably look at joining Apex for now. Make sure you win our Discord server, though. Or Novus, one of the two. And we can help you along. So P4 for Perez, P11. We're just chilling in this one. I can't believe we're going to come second. I shouldn't have messed around with trying to get the blooming Kevin. Every time. Just to get this, we cost us P1. Kevin! Literally. That's it. <sighs> the things you do to entertain the crowd and this is what we get in return P2 last time yeah today's rewards have been terrible as it is so the chances are we're going to get something even worse in this sprint crate we're going to come second as well and it's going to be one to forget but we'll see we will see Oh, Obi's always happy we get bad rewards. I mean, there'll be many of you that are watching who enjoy it when we get bad rewards. I mean, that I can see why, because that is pretty funny. Not for me, though, but I will happily take it on my seven chins. And we will just move on. And we will move on because... You know what that was? That was a smooth operator. That's me. We carry on as normal. Week on, week out. Into P4. <laughs> Into the Williams. I like it, Dan. I like it. But now nah, we're coming. We're coming to the rewards. I can't believe I thought that was it. And I was five points short. That's gutting. But, yeah, there you go. Where's Hamilton? No, oh, he's... See, I told you, Kevin Magnussen is down in 16th. He ain't going to get near us now, we've added that. Exactly, Porsche. Everyone enjoys it. Especially when I do bad. Maybe not so much in GP, but especially... Especially in rewards. Nothing better than seeing the pain etched on my face. And there's been a fair few of that today. There's definitely a very numerous different methods of my face today. Like, uh, yeah. But there you go. It is what it is. It's been the same all season. It'll be the same next season as well. You're all going to be coming back next season for the joys of bad rewards. We're going to moan about it together. We're going to enjoy it together. And I'll see you over the next many years to rinse and repeat. So last lap, and we can get our P2. And then we need to concentrate so we don't do a whole stream of P2. Because that would be pretty embarrassing. So P4 for Perez. He's coming round. Hamilton's coming round in P7 as well. It is going to be P2 crate. I mean, it is hard in Series 12. Obviously, you can see I don't score 47 points a race, so it is pretty difficult. And it's going to be difficult the more times you finish P2 as well. But P4 and P7, let's see what we get from our P2 crate.
Rival just coming across the line. Yeah, Akimo. Rewards are going to be bad. We know that by now, don't we? Let's be honest. Obi, I don't really mind if this is bad because it's only eight anyway. And it is obviously no shock to everybody to be a P2 crate. <sighs> I mean, yeah. Not a great start, is it, when you pull Oscar Piastri from the first part? There's Checo. Free flare, that's not too bad. And then... Hey, we'll take that. We'll take the P2 after all. Eight Charles Leclerc. Yeah, Obi, where are you now? Oh. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll have that. Yeah, it is, Mark. Not this week, but the weekend after. It is Charles Leclerc. So I'll tell you what, if we can get another one of him, let Obi bring it. Bring it. We'll take that. Free flare again. Shipping out. And I'll tell you what, we haven't started yet, but we're not a million miles away from asset trading. 624 out of 1,000 on the old suspense. We, I mean, Horizon we could do with as well. But, uh, shop Porsche, yes, yes. Uh, I've only got the one offer, 399 for the four crates. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So if you've got one, if you've got four crates for 39, try and take it. And now let's try and win some races. Come on. Come on. Oh, Tekka is a legend. Absolute animal. Come on, Checo. We need the P1s. Oh, look at this. Bad matchup. Yeah, we'll take that. But Joe, well, I mean, I take Joe, Kimo. I think it's near an upgrade off memory. So I think we would... I'd take him. I think it would be nearly level six. That wouldn't be too bad. One crate for 39. I mean, to be honest, though, Porsche, one crate for 39 is not bad when mine's four for 399. <laughs> I mean, you've got the better deal there, 100%. I know which one I'd rather have. Right then, here we go. Time to get this. Come on, let's focus now. We need a P1. Nothing else will do. This is like GP. Top 5 quality possible, Series 12. Uh, it is, Kajal. You can start at the front if you max max Verstappen. <laughs> and uh, Charles Leclerc, I think. Or even Prost. But I'm just... My drivers don't have great qualifying. They don't have great race start either. So that's why I have to use Gladiator Boost at the moment to even stand a chance of getting 35 plus points. Go on, Obi. Let's hear it. So really, I'm trying to fight with everything I can at the moment. But it's a lot harder. I just need... I don't really know who I need. I mean, when the 10% kicks in, it'll be a lot better. Or the 15%, whichever one it is this week. Either way, we're going to try. And uh, hopefully, I mean, we had a good weekend last weekend with 362 points. Obviously, rewards were bad. And Porsche, yes, Gladiator is reducing. I think anybody who watched last week's stream, we were at about 700 Gladiators. And now we're at 100. So we're getting pretty desperate on that front as well. I mean, luckily, we got about just under 200 Street Shark boosts. But don't really want to use them outside of GP. 
Um, it's not going to be a great race here for Perez because he's P13. He's had a shocker so far. So we're going to already drop some points into P12. 300 from 400 last week. Come on. I mean, Perez has got some big catching up to do. Hamilton, I might stick on the hards and let him attack a little bit more. But Perez has got a long way to go to find some points here. All about that race start. If you don't get a good race start, sometimes you can struggle. And that's what we're doing with Perez at the moment. Here's Kevin again, guys. Kevin. Kevin! We're past Kevin. I have to find Nick DeBreeze. But he'll be out of the game soon. Come on, Perez. Oh, he can't get past Logan Sargent. You know the the game's rough when you can't get past old Logie Bear. Come on, P19. Oh, it's just shocking. Can't overtake. We were finally past Logan Sargent. Here comes Esteban Ocon versus Hamilton. Come on, Hamilton. It's hammer time. Hammer time. Need to gain some positions. See if we can get it done. There he is on Sergio, our man Checo. Can we get the move? Up the inside? Yes, we can. Up to P8. Perez is having a mare. He is terrible, this race. Gave him too many plaudits. Yeah, Mark, I've seen a picture of two De Vries cards. That's unlucky. Taking up some... But at least you got 199 of them. Maybe helping you get closer to asset trading for that one. But here is Perez. Perez is going to have to pit. He's going to drop back, though, as Hamilton comes into P4. So Hamilton's up to P4. Perez is getting swamped at the moment by the hard tyres, and he's going to drop back again. Yeah, we're overtaking. I don't know if any of you have said, and Avalanche has just commented down below as well. Has anybody found since the latest update, so since last week's update, that overtaking just seems to be a little bit harder? I'll be interested to know what people's thoughts are. But, interesting. What did you think of the Australian GP? Obviously had its moments. I don't think it was like an amazing race but certainly obviously the max excitement at the start you obviously had some crashes towards the end but overall it was okay i think everything's a bit more exciting or on edge when max isn't leading out front kimo's found it a bit more difficult the overtaking i don't know what it is it just seems to be that we just can't get past cars and luckily we're going to gain another two places here so Perez is going to get back up to P11. We're going to keep pushing to see if we can get any more and rescue some points. He's not going to get P1, it is Hamilton. Perez could get Alonso in P10 though. And that will be that. P10, maybe one more place if we can grab P9 off the McLaren. Maybe out of the last corner we'll have to do this one. Because it's Lando Norris in our way. Let's see if we can get P9. Yes, we can. And we will take it. We will take it. It's not the end of the world. Thirty-nine points. And the aim has got to be that we quickly, quickly scoot past this and keep getting into races as quick as we can so that we don't lose out on our position. We need a P1. We've got a many, many real player matchups. Hungary is a difficult track to overtake. Australia seemed to be a very hard track to overtake this weekend. That is one thing I found, that certain parts of Australia, you just couldn't overtake whatsoever. And here we are with Australia. Oh, God. Oh, God. And sometimes even race starts seem to bog down, getting a perfect race start and literally nothing would happen. You would just... You just sit there, basically. You'll see it with Australia now as well, I believe. Whereas you get a perfect start, and you kind of go backwards. So 
So let's try and show you a little bit, zoom in on them. They just seem to bog down all of a sudden. You can see Hamilton there in P15. Now getting away. So they get through that second phase, they do manage to get away. So the coding obviously picks it up at that point. We've got Hamilton in P8. P7. Now that's not too bad. So I think, I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but this really started hurting at this section. And what's Obi said, you're a YouTuber on Ray to Rose, you got bad rewards, and you look like, <laughs> put you a bad beat about it. That is, yeah, David, we're struggling with that. It's big, big roast by Obi. So what do we got? P7. Can we get any higher? McLaren and Mercedes are George Russell ahead of us. Like, how does that work? We've just been battered through back into P9. We'll conserve down. But sometimes this track just doesn't seem to... I mean, we go around the outside there, great. This bit, we just don't seem to be able to overtake much. Everyone sort of piles up. And here we go into... Oh, can we get... Well, we overtake this time. Maybe outside of GP we can overtake then. Maybe it's just in GP. Hamilton P5. Perez P8. My nose is so itchy. Oh my God. This is killing me. P8 for Perez. Try and gain some power unit back as well. One stop very good around this track. Here's Hamilton trying to get through. As he'll come into the pits. It's like watching a hutch advert. This is what they do on the hutch adverts when you see it. They've got this, follow the car around. You get, oh yeah, we go backwards. Yeah, that's in the plant. And then we come around here. I can't keep up, though. Perez is... I mean, imagine if you had this camera tr tracking. I think this would be quite a good feature. I mean, it's hard to pretty much... It's hard to track on, but... I mean, it makes the race look a little bit better. Oh, look at that. Absolutely zoom up to the back of them now. Round the outside. Oh, look at that. It's a nice, beautiful move up the inside. Into the pits we come. Fantastic. You have to make, sometimes, you have to make your own fun. Come on, Hamilton. Hammer time. Come on, Hamilton. Okay, Lewis, it's hammer time. Come on. Time to get through the field. Here's where George Russell had that accident. Yeah, Q-Storm. So, obviously, they released an update at the end of last week um i forced an update i think through on thursday and it just seemed to get a little bit more harder since then so i don't know what they've actually done but it just seemed to be a little bit more difficult to overtake and let's pit this time let's see if we can get shells we can perez is sitting there nice and comfortable in p8 now we're going to just look after his power unit as well Hamilton's in P4. He'll drop back after the pit stops. And then we need to now pit. Here we go again. Can we get a move done? This is the section where he can struggle a little bit. Oh, we're through into the pits. Perez P8 then. Where can we get with him? Rivals just less than 50% tyres. So we were going to push a little bit. And how did we lose out then? Nope. Oh, now we're into P5. And we are slowly, slowly getting through. P10 for Hamilton. It's quite slow out front. Can we get any more positions? I mean, are these, these are not going to come into the pits, are they? No. There's Kevin. We missed out on the old Kevin soundboard again. Right, let's see if we can get P4 from Max. And this McLaren. that are going pretty slow at present. There's Max. And we're up to P8. So it's not bad points again here. Literally our limitation. We can't get anywhere high unless we get a bit of luck in running. Can we get Perez into P3? Yes, we can. 
rivals coming with us. We can get into... Oh, no, we can't get into P7. So P3 for Perez. P8 for Hamilton. And again, it's one of them where we just take the points. 39. Let's see. We'll take it. We move on. Got to keep going. Are we in competition? Yes, we are. Great. <laughs> We're in a battle for P1 again. God, that is now. <laughs> Uh, Miami. See, Miami, you can score big points out. If you get good race style, which you usually do get at Miami, we could have a chance of hitting a big 47, uh, especially with starting P13 and P14. And it's going to be dry, so we should be able to, with Gladiator as well, hit the front early on. TMD, welcome as well with the P1 crew. Medals, how are you doing, TMD? Good Decent GP finish ahead of me. So you do usually get a good start on this track. That is the benefit of Miami. And it's okay. It's all the way out to P5. Told you you can go pretty quick here. Perez hasn't got the best start, but I tell you what, Hamilton's coming through anyway. And now into P3. So P3 and P13. It's going to be all about getting Sergio Perez through if we can. Or or maybe backwards is easier. Can we get in the lead of this race? Not quite yet. Perez is now up to P12. We'll cut that down. So, where can we go? Can we get the lead from Hamilton? Hamilton v Hamilton. Into the lead we go. Just got to watch tyres on Perez as we're going to go backwards. Surely Gasly's on softs and Gasly is on softs. That is true, TMD. That is true. Matchmaking can be a pain sometimes. Or most of the time, depending on which way you look at it. I'm assuming you got some tough matches in the end. So, Hamilton P1, coming into the pits for some softs. Perez can't really push too much at the minute, because you need 33% as we pass the pit exit. We are on 33%, so we'll come back for softs. Here comes Hamilton coming out of the pits as well. And here's Kevin. We're behind Kevin. Kevin! We've got to get him out of the way somehow. Right, rivals on mediums. We're still stuck behind Kevin. And now we're passed into P5. That'll do us. Cut back down. And then into the pits. We will come. Hamilton's looking good though here. That rival's surely pitting, yes. And then back for some medium tyres. Round the outside, Verstappen. Oh, how did we not get the move there? That was ours all day long. And now we've got to settle for behind him. P14 for Perez. Up to P13 as we keep attacking. Conserve down the straights every single time. And then push back through the middle. Hamilton still behind Verstappen. There's Carlos Sainz. One less organ now. And there's Kevin, who we get past very easy. Obviously, he's not liking the soundboard, is our Kevin. So we can get past him nice and easy. And we can just carry on on our merry way. Perez P9. Or is he? Oh, gets, gets a nice little toe all the way through. Into P6. And into P5 for Perez. So that is looking good now for him. No servicing. And then we can come into the pits. So no more pit stops for Hamilton. 
definitely a chance of getting 40 plus points in this race. Rivals pushing pretty hard. We've got a full power unit to attack with for Perez as well. There's Hamilton in P8. Just being slowed down by the rival. But where's he going to go through? He's up to P7. And what about Perez? Head of Gasly would be nice. Thank you. And then get past Ocon. The other slow Alpine. Job done. P6, P10. Got to keep pushing. There's Norris. Into P5. Push through the overtaking sections and conserve down the straight. Rinse and repeat it. There is our man himself again, but not anymore as we move past him. Told you he doesn't like that soundboard. He is not getting in the way anymore. Pulik, that is our... <laughs> There's our Kevin. Right, P4, P7. Should be good solid points here. Oh, up to P3 as well for Hamilton, so an extra point. Uh, Porsche, I assume it's just 180 over 180s. Everything pretty much balanced is what I imagine, and it would be max AI, I believe. That's what I'd expect it to be. As we try and get P6, but can't get it. Yeah, so the max sort of series 12 and 11 parts all have around 180 on every single stat. As we take 40 points back onto the 30 point, 40 point road. Still need to try and increase that. We need like a Zanvort, because Zanvort usually gets us some good points. Earthman. Yeah, it's luck of the dice in terms of rewards. Absolutely luck of the dice. Brazil's a good track to get, get points. Yeah, got to be just keep opening great, seeing what you can get. And this should be a track we can score good at. Need more points, though. It's so hard in Series 12 to kind of keep up with the people around us. So we'll go for... I mean, we're running out of Gladiator now. 90 left. We're going to do a 3-3-3 and a 5-4. That's going to be the plan of action. And hopefully, we can do good. So, P14, P17. Rivals losing boost as well. And, oh, such a bad start. Checo, ever since we praised him, has literally gone backwards. Nice, Kajal. Hopefully it's something good for you this time as well. Not like our rewards. But P2, oh my God, look at this carnage. P13, I mean, we're going to be quicker at the end, if it's any consolation. We're gonna just, just we're gonna lose a few positions. Stroll on the mediums is gonna be first up past us. Kevin's behind us as well. Uh, Porsche that starts in the new season. Yeah, they delayed the club rivalry until the new season because obviously it just must not be ready. It must be too bugged or needs more work. Whichever way you want to look at it. But I mean, I'd rather them delay stuff and then let us have it when it's actually fully working. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. So I applaud them for doing that. But obviously, for the players-wise, it's just another thing that has been pushed back, basically. There's science in front. This rival's pitting both cars on lap three, I think, by the look of it. We're going to try and just move Perez up slightly. And we can. He's surely going to pit both of them. And he has. Rookie mistake. And we're going to get ahead. Science is going to somehow reel us in. Suddenly he's got loads of pace. And that rivals back out with the Ode boot. 
<laughs> Avalanche, I'm pretty sure if you ask them, they do enough as it is. And now we're just all over the back. Joe Guan Yu, hard tie is so slow, but we've only got one more lap. Yeah, tricky. It's basically, you, so towing is what some of the elite clubs are using at the moment. And I won't mention any names on that because I keep out of it. But basically what it is, it's like, let's say me and you, Tricky, I'll lower my, let's say you can score 47 every race, but it depends on your matchups as it does to everybody else. The difference with towing is that I can lower my team score to yours. We can search at the same time. We can match each other. And then all I can do is basically let you beat me every time. So you score 47. Or you just do it lower. You just go low team score and do it that way. But that is the way that people are doing it. That's what's, it's not against the rules, but it's, an, it, it's not really fair, is it? It's very unsporting. It will have its own repercussions. Hutch can see the logs. I mean, if Hutch wanted to properly look at it, they can see the logs. I mean, I've seen the logs. I've seen the data that Hutch use on their dashboard. They can see every single race. And they can see who you matched up against, the account ID. So they can, they can work it out if they wanted to. But there's just nothing against it at the moment. So they're not doing anything wrong. But if you ask most people, yeah, it's not fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tricky. It's just like me and you matching at the same time. That's all. But what it is, is it's so they can get their people a P1 or at the best result they can get, basically. And yeah, dummy accounts. Yep, exactly. That means it doesn't affect their own main accounts. Then. I think as well, you can search for a GP race and then cancel straight away and it sends you bot, I believe. So where are we? P1. Some better points on offer in this race. No more pitting. So it looks like we're going to be a P1, P6 maximum. And then we've got Perez currently in P6. Can we get P5? We're going to try. We will certainly give it a go. I don't think we're going to though. I don't think we're going to catch. So we're going to have to just chill out then to get P5. Yeah, and we'll come across, but it's going to be a solid points direction. It is going to be 43 points, so a nice return. We'll take that all day long. Got to keep the pace up, though. Let's just have a look to see if we are in the zone. Oh, my God, we're getting beat again. We're going to get two out of two P2, and there's nothing we can do about it. We just don't have... We don't have the point scoring power unless i use some good boosts and when you get matchups like this it makes it even harder Ugh. i mean unless i forfeit some good boosts but i mean we've got to gain i mean if i can gain seven points he's not pulling away massively he's only just above us so i'm gonna to have to try and gain something I mean, when you start 14th and 16th, obviously, it is a pain. Um, let's go Frost. Let's go a Gladiator again. It will, Porsche. It will. By the time I ever get a P1. Yeah, P2 is good, OB, but you obviously you only get eight. I'd prefer to get more than eight. And here we go into the absolute carnage of turn one at Hungary. And round the outside, Hamilton goes. So we'll cut back down on Hamilton because he's going to need some tyre management to get four laps comfortably. And you can see we're just going backwards again. So I don't think luck's going to be in our favour as we try and get past. Science is probably going to come straight back past us as well. Can Hamilton get past? You know who it is. Magnuson. 16 Bottas for Avalanche. Oh, welcome Twiggy. 
we are just struggling to a ye. We can't get P1 in Series 12 at the moment. Everyone is, whoever we get in a group, is smashing races. It makes it more competitive, but not good for a P1 champs. Yeah, David's got Vegas. Yep, seen a bit. <laughs> the most painfulest of tracks going. And that, David, that track, Vegas, has got a speed boost apparently as well. Yeah. P7. But we definitely need 47. I mean, I'm using Frost here to try and help us. But we're still not going to catch. We couldn't even catch a cold at the minute, never mind P1. And we're getting stuck behind everybody as well. So, ah, not good. But this is the joys. Hamilton, can he get past Norris? Finally, he can. Perez is going to try and give it a go too. But everyone's getting absolutely tucked down. Come on. No Vegas in GP. Hopefully they don't put it in there because it is awful. Um, I've only seen this week, so I can see. I know we got Monza. There's some tough tracks out there. So Hamilton's in. We're going to have to go round with Perez once more. Come back for some softs. Uh, Kajel, it should be, yes, but it doesn't seem to still work that great. There's not many corners at Vegas, to be fair. So, P12. Yeah, we're going to have to hate, hope that the person that we're racing against hasn't got enough time to finish and we can pass. But there we go. Perez is in. Hamilton is going around the outside of Sergio. If he can. And we've got a lot of power unit to attack. And it is that man himself. Block. Look how much blocking is going on here. Look, it is terrible. Kevin! Come on. It is him. It is Kevin. Very annoying. Now Hamilton can absolutely fly. So can Perez. On Perez. Got a few cars coming into the pit still as well. So we can start creeping up a little bit more. As we're into P5, P6. But we probably need 40 plus. New season will be around the 7th of May. The 6th or the 7th of May. That is the current expectation. We don't know if that is the case. But based on previous years. That is usually when it does happen. So P5. I mean looks like we can only get Fernando. And he might put the brakes on a little bit earlier. Than we're expecting as well. So I don't think we're going to get any more. It just seems to be whatever we do is not good enough for P1 great at the moment. Hamilton is going to move up to P4. And now we've got Perez trying to get past as well. Maybe Perez, Perez can get P5. Yes, he can. So P4, P5. Not bad at all at Hungary. Is it good enough, though? That is going to be the problem. You're going to have to keep going. 41 points, though. We'll absolutely take that. So... Keep going. Keep flying along. I don't want to get P2 again. Oh. No. That is what we don't need. Pretty good for end of the week crates. Interesting. I mean, Baku's an okay spot for points. Again, we need... Well, we need something good. Drone home, welcome. You have missed us get a P2 only at the moment. And that was Charles Leclerc. Is who we got. 
Uh, I'm going to use a street shark. I'm going to use two. We need some points. Uh, yeah, just to show us the clear, we're about to look like we're going to come second again, Drone Home. But we cannot, for the life of us, take a P1 at the moment. No worries, Avalanche. Look after yourself. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So, we're going to use our boost with a nice little livery replicating the Gulf Williams and we're going to get a bad start again now we need the second phase to kick in and get a good start it's not the best though struggling to come through the field as quick as sometimes but P13 and P14 at the moment we just need to try and keep pushing points we're into P12 and P13 that's going to keep getting even better Come on, let's get past Stroll. Daddy boy Stroll blocking us big time. And we're through. So, P9, P11. Told you, it's so tough to come through. Absolutely is. But we're trying. Perez will cut back down. See if we can just keep pushing him. Come on, Perez, get past Fernando. Oh my God, why do we always just go backwards? There's Norris in P7. And we've got Archon who's ahead of us. Going pretty slow at the minute. Yeah, Drone Home, I've noticed that. Perfect starts just don't seem to work as much. And I would agree on that from what I've seen. You kind of stay on the spot and then suddenly you kick into gear. If ever. I've noticed that Silverstone, before I've even left the grid box, I've moved back to P24. So I definitely... I don't know how they do it. How can they put updates in for random stuff and suddenly it affects someone else? I do not know. But it is what it is. I don't have the knowledge to know why. We've got Hamilton behind Norris at the moment. And he's now through. Yeah, they've done something to the game after this latest update. I'm not sure if Hutch will know what it is. As we're getting blocked. They've upped Kevin's blocking. I'll tell you that. Definitely upped Kevin's blocking. Because he's just blocking us. He's doing whatever he wants at the minute. As we're in P8. Let's try and get past Piastri. Let's get some Oscars. Thank you. Thank you. Got George Russell now ahead as well. No, and he's now behind P11. So we are gaining points, we're just not gaining enough. We're moving our way through the field nicely. And you can see we're up to P6 now. Hamilton P10. As we hit the pits. Hamilton will continue on. We'll try and just save some power unit for the last few laps. But with Norris coming out, I might just push a little bit more. <laughs> I like it, David. I like it. But we just got to see if we can find the magic formula. We need a magic group where no one bothers playing. I'm sure we've all had them in our time. You get a nice easy P1 crate with no work at all. And where are we got? P10. Can we get past Fernando? Yes, we can. GP cutoff total for GP final round in Series 12. Um, I'm not too sure i scored 360 and i came about 13th in opening round so i imagine it's around the 300s 315s i didn't look because obviously i got through fine how many more races probably around two Kajal, maybe at a guess two or three we're trying our hardest to get a p1 but i don't think we're going to do it and you can see we're actually attacking. We're using bit better boosts to try and rescue it. And we're going to be P4. We can't really get any better than P5 and P7 at the minute. Can we get past Perez? Yes, we can. And Leclerc. Can we get past Perez? Come on, Perez. Put your foot down. Let's get past Sergio. P5. That'll do. 
P3 and P5, we'll take it. It is 42 points, though. I mean, that's not too bad. Yeah, no virtue buff this weekend as poor shares. Got Typhoon. But cornering definitely won't be as high. 42 points in the bag. And let's just keep on rolling. We're still... Oh, we can't... We can't compete. We are like 38 points behind. <sighs> no joke. I've won loads of crates today. And we're going to end up finishing second again. I want 20. I want the P1. Just not happening. Uh, tricky, I probably won't use Typhoon. And the only reason being is because last time I use it, I tend to find to get a little bit harder matchups. So, P13, P15, we're going to struggle to get off the line again. So slow off the line. One day we're going to get moaned at by someone for using boosts against them, but I'm not actually racing against the people that I'm dueling against. I'm racing against the people who are robbing my P1 crates. Not good. Come on, Perez, get through. I mean, maybe P2, he's got the good rewards. Maybe it's got some more Charles Leclerc in it, or Lando Norris, or Max Verstappen. You just don't know. It could have anything in it. The air drone home, you never know. They might one day. They might fancy their chances of dropping down. People will move around a lot more though now because of the season challenges. Obviously, people are going to go right. I need to go and get contender. I've not got a chance at P1, for example. You're going to get a lot more of them start moving around. So things will change up. New groups will form. You'll still get some similar players. Ali, welcome. How are you doing well, Ali? Nice to see you in here. You can try and match me if you want. You'll notice I am using boosts. That's because my drivers have just not got a good race start. That in Series 12, it is impossible for me at the moment without a race start boost. And I can't not compete in sprints of Adam, sadly. So P5 and P12. With Perez in P10, we'll take that. Team get free to play by... I hope so, Porsche. I am 93 point something at the moment. So, just got to keep it up. Just got to keep and locking and levelling up stuff. That's really the big one. I'm already at Series 12, so it just comes down to parts. Come on. I mean, look at this. Good moves by Perez here. Checo, here we go. Checo is now finally on fire. Oh, Checo is a legend. Absolute animal. Into P4 and into the pits. Uh, Kajal, my other account is... It's not max, but it starts 1-2 every race. It's pretty boring to show you guys and girls, so... Yeah, that's why I prefer to show this one. You wouldn't you wouldn't get the enjoyment out of it. It'd just be like, and it's lights out, win the lead, let's go. Done. That's literally what it would come down to. What have we got? Perez is gonna be minimum P6. Yeah, David, that could be an idea, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I finished P2 because the guy in P1 got brute force. That would be quite good. Doubt you will ever see that happen. 
But you just never know. You never know. I'm interested to see what Hutch do for the new season. How are they going to make it different? Obviously, they've got... Usually, they put sort of one big change in a year, and this year saw the introduction of power units. So, what are they going to do this year? Yeah, 0.2. The, the thing is, I mean, from 95% to 100, there's no difference apart from a... I mean, 25 cc points on a coloured frame is pathetic. So... You might as well stay and save yourself the hassle and stay at 95%. You're not going to miss anything. And we're, we're, we've had a closer race this time. Back to the old Gladiator boosts. Let's see if we can get past. Can we get past Perez? Can we take P2? No, we can't. P3 and P4. Still big points. They're still not going to be enough and this guy, unless this guy at the front, I don't know, does summer. I mean, Heine, welcome. Evening, Heine, hope you're well. Different tracks need different setups. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think, I think this year was supposed to be different setups for different tracks. Yeah, Ali, see if we can match. No problem. I will use Gladiator boosts just because I've already told you why. I need points in sprints. See if we get you. Not this time. We'll keep trying though, Ali. Keep trying. I'm assuming you're in Series 12. If you match Ali, you can tell him. <laughs> Uh, what are you in, Ali? Are you in Series 11? Or just, or are you, I'm assuming you are in Series 12. You're just saying, ah, because you didn't match me. Seven one nine nine. Ah, that shouldn't stop us, then. That shouldn't stop us. Let's stick these Gladiator boosts on again. We're just going to have to hope for the best. gonna have to hope for it we need this guy to have a power cut that would be the dream or we need to oh uh, yeah I, I think that's the only way i mean it's quite hard for someone to spend an hour straight scoring points but yeah we're not exactly lighting up the track P11, P13. Yeah, what's your team score, Ali? Yeah, Kajal. So I moved into Series 12 last week, and that is the one thing I noticed. I started towards the back end of the grid. My race start was like poor or average every time, and sprints are so tough. At the moment, until I start scoring 47s, I've got no chance. 148. Okay, you should be fair as mine then. What region, Ali? Europe? If you're Europe, you should be all right. Where are we? P8, P12. EU, yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe it was just that time then. There's no lag on mine as well. So if you literally wanted to match up, you should be able to. Yeah, you can try as much as you want, Ali, until you get bored. I'm assuming there's only so much you can do until you physically get bored and you want to race. <laughs> so, P8. If we go, ah, that's fair enough. That's fair. It'd be so much easier if Hutch created a player friend, wouldn't it? It'd be so much easier. And let's not hold our hopes for that one. Right, see, can we get past anyone in the pits? There's the odd car in. And I think we'll go for hards. Need some power unit attacking. P4 for Perez. P9 for Hamilton. Let's move forward. Yeah. 
I can't believe we get two P2s. That's so. That would be so frustrating. So frustrating. So Perez is going to come in, and there'll be a few people in the pits this time as well. So Perez Hamilton carries on round. He'll go for softs. He'll be pretty quick. And then Hamilton's up to P4. Perez is going to be eighth worst case, is it? Ninth worst case? As he comes out to step on the Gasly and he's through. Hamilton's P4. See if we can close the gaps. It'd be nice if we could. Get another big scoring race. Here's Alonso. Hamilton coming into the pits now as well. Yeah, Porsche, there's, there's many games out there. Um, the one big one that I think of is a game that I used to play when I was a little bit younger, was Clash of Clans. And you could actually watch people's races, like people in your club. I mean, for them, it was battles, but you could actually watch them. So, like, if I was in a race now, you could click spectate and actually watch me racing. I mean, I think that's one of the coolest things. Like, why couldn't we have something like that? Obviously, I imagine it's a big creative thing to try and build, but that would be so good. If you could watch your clubmates' GPs at the weekend, like they're on final round, you could all like just click on it and spectate. That would be pretty cool. I would be well up for that. I think there'll be many people who would be up for that as well. P4, P7, these are sort of our average positions then, really. 20 George from the sprint, that's okay, Tricky. We got 20 George earlier today, and it would happen to be after the George event as well. Always the case. So I can't really push too much, but we're in P2. Well, we was in P2, and Max Verstappen just ripped us a new one. See if we can catch these. We haven't got much power unit as I nearly dropped my phone. So we're probably going to lose out to Hamilton here. And that would be a shock. Unless we're going to take Hamilton. We are going to take Hamilton. So an extra couple of points. P3 and P4. Still not going to be good enough for P1, but it's 43 points. I don't know why he's saying bad luck for me. I mean, it's P10 and P18. Good race. <laughs> Ali, you want me to go straight into a duel, yeah? Yeah, Series 12 are quick. One sec. All right, let me know as soon as you're ready. Yeah, that guy's already finished. Wow. Wow. I'm waiting, Ali. I'm waiting. I'm all good. Yeah, P2 again. I mean, I'd take Horizon, but we're going to only get eight of it, so pointless. Ali's, uh, Ali's putting on his super mods. Ali, you ready? Yeah, I'll, I'll save boost this time. There's no point. You ready? Yeah, cool. All right, I'll go. Yeah, safe boosts. Let's keep after them. I'll take a celebration sound when you're ready, as it? <laughs> I haven't got a celebration sound. <laughs> I mean, I've got... Yeah, what else have I got? I'm, I'm, Ali, I'm assuming this is not you. <laughs> Maybe Hutch don't want us to match. Worth a try, though. Yeah, next time. We're live tomorrow as well, Ali, so if you want to jump in tomorrow and have 
have a go, then be my guest. If not, though, enjoy your sleep. <laughs> but no, appreciate it. Appreciate you coming along anyway, Ali. Uh, we're just going to do a nice, easy one-stop, no stress here. We're just going to go medium and hard. It's not my favourite strategy. But... Let's just literally press the button. And this is where I find you get stuck on this track. And um, we haven't got too bad today. There you go. There's the stop P18. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Since the update, just race starts seem to be dreadful. Whether or not they've tried to fix something, I don't know. But if they have, it's not gone the right way. That testing, obviously, not still working very well. Uh, Ali, catch you later. So, yeah, we're going to do a nice, easy, nice, easy race here. Just do a 3-4 and a 4-3. Usually, I'd do a 2-2-3 two, two, and a 3-2-2. Two, two. But we'll take it a little bit more chilled because we only need 20 points and we're surely going to be scoring 20 points in this one. We're in P9 as well at the minute. Are we... Well, 28 points. That's that's all good for me. P2. Ugh. Never been so unlucky today. Awful rewards. And now getting done on a live stream. Yeah, Rocket Start. Rocket Start is not as powerful as it once was, but it still works to an effect. Definitely works to an effect. All right, let's push with him. But there's a lot there's a lot of stuff that needs kind of amending. Armando as well, welcome. Yeah, safety car. I've quizzed Sam many times. Like, how can they go so wrong with a safety car that's been working for pretty much a couple of years? I mean, I had a safety car the other day. Uh, it was... I think it was Saturday I had a safety car. And it was so quick still. It is not fixed. It was in Canada. And by the time it got to the last corner in Canada, it had only picked up the front four cars. And that was the the bot and us. So it definitely still doesn't work. So you're not missing out on anything if you think you're missing the safety car because you are well and truly not. So Perez coming through as well. Just going to hold out for the points here. What are we on at the minute? Only need 20. We're on 26. So doing the getting the job done with no boost. You can see how more difficult it is in Series 12 without boost sometimes. Let's see if we can just push through with Hamilton. We'll probably end up scoring more points than we usually do here. That would be typical. Oh, Kevin's getting in the way. Kevin! Come on. Come on. Oh, he's getting right in the way. Tell you what, they have increased Kevin's defending by about 500. Ever since he did them heroics in Jeddah, he is an absolute pain on this game. I think Hutch have took real realisation stats too realistic. Yeah, pitting on wet lap one. No one really does that too much anymore, do they? Uh, Armando, we are winning sprints. We just can't get P1. This is our second sprint crate. We're about to come second for the second time. First crate, we got Charles Leclerc. So we'll take that. And in another lap and a half time, we should get another eight and a P2 crate. And we'll obviously see what it is. We only need 20 points to get P2. And then what we'll do is we'll probably just chill out and do one more sprint crate. See if we can finally get a P1. I mean, we've got to get a P1 at some point. And you watch, we'll get a P1 and it'll be brute force. It'll be Kimo's favourite. Thirty-one points. All good. All good. And then we'll be on to rewards. Life form. I tell you what, Tricky. I don't know what they've done to Kevin Magnuson, but he just blocks everyone. And he actually is 
performs pretty well in races as well. Like he's in P13 at the moment. I've seen him as high as P4 at stages. He's been quick. Quick. So, nice, easy, one stop in Silverstone, P9 and P10. And now we can get into our P2 crate. And then we can blast one more sprint crate after. See if we can just get a bit lucky. Let's see. I mean, look how much we've grinded today. I'm on actually 16.8 million. Like, that's a lot of sprint crates and a lot of jewels. P2. Again. Oh. Oh, I'm going to take his cap off. Maybe it's the Red Bull. Maybe it's the Red Bull cap that's, that's affecting us. Maybe I need some re-evaluation. We'll do the drum roll at the Epic Four Bucks. Not too bad. Eight, Kevin. Kevin! <laughs> 16, Yuki Sonoda. Oh, wow. Oh, it's been so... We've had literally the worst rewards. We've come second twice. And then we go and get brute force in a P2 crate. Kimo, you know that feeling. And I feel how exactly you have been feeling. Oh, Uh, I'm going to stick to this one stop and just see what happens. Uh, yeah, Obi was happening. Obi wants the uh, bit of this. You know what that was? That was a smooth operator. Oh, oh no drone home exactly it's coming back to haunt me it really is we've had since since we announced that we were leaving the hutch content creation we've had bad rewards kevin magnuson has suddenly blocked us at every opportunity we can no longer overtake and we can't get a race start that is actually moving off the line. So for some reason, if I'm being targeted, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, Dan, I know I've got wrinkles anyway, but these rewards certainly do not help. You can assure you of that. <laughs> David knows it would be that the Gladiator would be the best boost after I've gone through 700 in a week. Ah. Uh. No, I don't usually airy every time. It's just the ones when I... I just I check it once, maybe around halfway through to see how it's going. 
It's the only time I'll really do it. But we just don't have the ability. And we just need someone to relax off a little bit out there to see if we can just maybe get a little bit lucky. Box, box. We've got Perez in P8. Maybe we can just 40 points a race. It's all we need. Kajal, look after yourself as well. Just seeing that you're going. Look after yourself. Come on, Ham. Thank you, Ham. Perez is a pit stop behind. Ever since Perez was our best driver, he's gone backwards now. Even Hutch have nerfed my Perez. P3, though. It's a better start to a GP dual whatever sprint car you want to call it. Uh, Charles Leclerc, Dan, but obviously it was only P2 again. So even though it was okay, it was only P2. We only got eight compared to 20. So it could have been, could have been a lot worse. But yeah, that was okay. We're in P2 at the moment. We've got Perez in P8 comfortably. Come on. How do you mean, Armando? How are I turning to P1? Perez into P6. We're going for points. We're choosing violence. Uh, tricky, I am basically in Midlands. Basically the middle. We're under attack. It looks like we've got P1 sorted. Get P5 sorted as well. Some more points on the table here. It's a big table because I need big points. Not one of them small ones. Max Verstappen trying to hold us off. We're just about to lose power unit, but we're into P4. Good, good race to start off this sprint. Just got to keep it together. No one's going to run out of tyres. We've got 1.5 second gap. Uh, Fabio, he's not good enough level for me. Need more Hulkenberg. I absolutely don't. Uh, Dan, it's basically where, I mean, I said it a bit earlier on, um, it's basically where you use a low account to match up and you just let them overtake you and give them 47 points, basically, in a nutshell. Uh, Hamilton level five, Fabio, I think. I'm not going to look because I'm going to try and get through this crate as well and give us the best possible chance. Of a sprint crate P1, we need it. I think we're on so that's 47, isn't it? Now, uh, sorry, how many points did I get then? Can anybody remember? Was it 44? I don't know how many I got, but I think it was 44. Uh, Leclerc is only level four, I think. 44. Uh, right, mediums, mediums. Gladiator, the best boost on the game next season. Turn one, Frenchy. Yes, you know it. It's going to be chaos. As, of course, I will lose out on turn one. 92 qualifying. Who's that for? Leclerc level four. Real player as well. Come on. Good luck, first corner, please. Perfect starts. And the rival gets past Durs. Hamilton's got a good... This not, might not be a bad start. Hey, it's not too bad. Not too bad. 
See if we can make any more positions. Oh, there we go. P5 and P7. Shuna was, could be. Oh, damn, that would be good. That's because of the 20%, isn't it? Suddenly, my suddenly my drivers have started to come to life a little bit. Uh, Gono, it should be the same. Series 12 is usually around Champs GP. I'm starting the similar places as I would do in GP. Without a 10% boost as well. So, yeah, it's about the same. So I want to probably go softs for Hamilton. Probably want to do five laps with him. Perez, I'll do... Uh, Perez, I'll do five. I'll do four with Hamilton. Let's try and push Hamilton a little bit more. See if we can close the gap. Best driver and car, Fabio. Yep, yeah, this is what we're playing with. Best drivers, best car. We obviously need to score the best points we can score, so that's why we're not reducing anything. So you can see P1 and P2 are there. Perez is up to P4. Come on, Perez. Oh, Checker is a legend. Absolute animal. Here he goes. He's flying out there. In a world of his own, P4. And we're going to come back for mediums. Uh, no, I'm going to do five laps Frenchy with... Perez, I'm going to do a 5 3. As Hamilton comes through into the pits, I'm going to give Perez every chance of a lightning fast finish. And we're into P3. See if we can keep it up. Yeah, Las Vegas, we definitely don't want to see that in the sprints. No, my luck, it will come up now. Because we've started well, and it's such a slow track. David, let us know what you get. Hopefully it's better than what I got. Not bad, this. P3 and P5. Trying to push through as well. Let's get Norris. Oh, come on. Yeah, Dan, you don't want to go to Vegas. The Vegas track is just so slow. Really slow. Painful. Um, French, it's just tyres, really. It's just I want to attack more on that first stint, that's all. So we can probably look after... I mean, I don't think I'm going to get P1... Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's uh, eight, uh, three, seven, seven laps. It's supposed to have a speed power up, but it just doesn't seem to work. And these two are squabbling over themselves. Yeah, it is. It's the same as Miami and Jeddah, basically. Same strategies, just a different track. Can't catch up, but these are on softs out front. That's why. See if we can catch up now. Right behind Norris for an extra point. Every little helps. Every little helps. P2. Another good race. That's a couple of good races in a row now. For another 44 points, at least you can say we're consistent at that because that is okay. Well, the speed power-up just doesn't work. As <laughs> simple as that. It really doesn't. There's just no speed in there at all. So 88 points out of 350. Let's keep going. Keep going. Just keep racing. Can we? Just need a little bit of luck. Just, just a little quiet group. Vip, welcome. Just on our last crate, but as you can see, Vip, we are on 88 out of 350. Plenty to go. Right. Come on. 
Yeah, it's just a really tough track. I mean, it promised so much and delivered so little. Pretty much like me. Gladiator. Gladiator. Come on. Another 40 plus points. We have the best chance. Probably a 4 4 and a 5 3 on this one. Certainly going to try. Come on. P12 start then. Got to keep pushing it though. Hopefully get a little bit lucky. We're not getting that lucky so far. P11. Need a bit of luck. This is a great place to overtake at the chicane. And there you go. That is why. Make up two positions nice and easy. So we're up to P9. And P8. Five medium can just be done, just about. Um, I can do four soft, four medium, but I can't be bothered with a hassle, so I'm sticking to four medium, four medium. But it can easily be done. Just trying to keep pushing Hamilton. Come on, get past Mag. Look, Kevin again. How does Kevin always get in the way? Hutch of basically put him in here to annoy us yeah Alex, you probably if you've just started maybe you've rushed up a little bit too quick maybe just drop down a series and just earn some coins but it does get it is difficult at the start it is designed to not obviously let you go past really quick but definitely the higher you go the harder it gets Let's see if we can get Hamilton into P6. So P6 and P10. Yeah, so I've got 100 million on this and I can't do, I literally can't do anything with it. P5. Come back in for mediums. Kevin's best attribute is defender 93. I mean, it's about 103 at the minute. That's what the way it generally feels. If you are watching as well, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button or follow if you're watching. So Hamilton in. Perez will go around. He'll be fine on that. We'll just have to manage a little bit. Right, come on. Well, I mean, it's going to be harder to keep the points in this race. Yeah, well, as you, you know the score already, mate. That's how it rolls. And if you don't know... You don't tend to lose much time when you run out at Monaco. As you can see, look, I've got no tyres and I'm actually gaining on Leclerc. That is why you can run out of tyres in Monaco, no problem, because it doesn't slow you down. That's another one of the uh, Hutch classics. Buy power-ups with coins, yeah, you can only buy them with books at the minute, can't you? Um, no, Mark. If you go on to the um, question mark, it gets put into CC points. So I think 500 million will give you 150 CC points. But yeah, that would be overpowered. You would be able to upgrade everything straight away. Would be pretty chaos. Pretty chaotic. So Perez is going to get up to P7. Can he get any higher? I doubt it. Not really. Hamilton into the lead. Good little run for him. Perez maybe could have a chance at getting some of these ahead of him. You can see he's just catching up now. I'm going to cut him down. Yes, P6. We're scoring a lot better points all of a sudden. 
suddenly we are scoring more points right on the back of Max Verstappen. Um, I think I must be around the 80 French. Frenchy. They're not great. Oh, yes, P5. How about P4? How about P3? A race like this is, uh, yeah, incredibly satisfying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Perez P3. Get in. Yeah, Frenchy, you can't. You do run out of tyres in the last sector, but the track doesn't slow you down one bit. It is just the design of the track. It's a little secret. That's why if you do watch my track guides, I don't put it in the track guide. I simply tell you about it because that is the reward for watching my track guides and not just taking screenshots. <laughs> yeah, Porsche. It's the only track you can run out of tyres and it doesn't affect you. That much anyway. I've got to keep... Plowing these races on. What did I get there? 46, I think it was. Now I've got to do the maths. 134? I think. No. Yeah. I need someone to do the math. 134. Yeah, you can do four softs quite easily as well, Frenchy. You run out of tyres, but you'll be absolutely fine. So, soft, hards... Gladiator. Uh, let's use let's use a frost. We we got to go big points. We got to go big points. Not 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 a great deal, Strago. But you know, quick maths under pressure. That's all you need to know. Come on. Good start again. I feel like. Jeez, we went backwards, my Mars then. Yeah, I've only got nearly 100 million on this account. I've only got about 30 million on the main account. So I'm going to be struggling to get any more. But if I'm honest, I don't think CC points are that good. I mean, I don't know. That might be controversial, but I don't think they're actually that good. They don't give you that much of an advantage. You, you might be able to unlock one Series 12 part or driver, but you can't level it up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Stryko, why do you have to do this to me? What is it? 1,641 I'm going for. 31. One of the two. I'm, I'm well off, aren't I? Ah, don't like chat games. Cooper Young, welcome. Too, too, too technical. It's like 8.40 at night and you're giving me maths questions. That, that's just, just too tough. So, Perez on that frost is doing pretty good. Hamilton's going to come into the pits. Free soft, free soft, four medium for a nine. No, free soft, free soft, free soft. It's a five medium, four medium for Perez. That's what I meant. Mark, look after yourself. Thank you for coming along. Exactly. I mean, Kimo, take it all day long. Doesn't matter. Take the take the gold frame and run. So Perez is going to come in. Howard turns up to P11. Needs to get him ahead. Perez is just going to run out of tyres. Ah, it's all good, drone home. I get it, I get it. See, I'm a bit old now. It doesn't. The jokes don't come as quick. The thing is, if you go ahead and purchase Max Verstappen, for example, with your season points, it would only be roughly 
a week until your rares are better. That's a lucky Cooper Young. It's close. Obviously, you need to make sure. Make sure you've, you're following our guides so we can try and help you. Double crate time. Uh, no, it'll just be singular. It'll just be time length added on. It won't be 50% plus 50% free crates. Uh, Perez into the lead. Oh, yes, Sergio Perez. Oh, Checker is a legend. Absolute animal. Come on, Perez. I mean, Hamilton's back down in P9. Okay, Lewis, it's hammer time. Got to make up some positions. Fizz van der Erst, welcome. Hope you're doing good, mate. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, Justin, it'll add, let's say you've got a two-month timer. It'll make it two months and four hours, for example. It'll just add on to the end of it. So P1, I don't think I'm going to get any higher with Hamilton here. He's struggling, but there's a few hard tyres still to pit, though. So we might get a little bit lucky if we can get past one of these, which at the moment we can't. And we still can't. And we're not going to, by the look of it. Oh, no one's going to pit, is it? Last lap. Ugh. Maybe we can just get Leclerc. Or maybe we can get Russell. Or maybe we can still get nobody. Because, you know, these are on hard and medium tyres. We're on softs and we can't overtake. Now we'll overtake. Whee! Can we get Leclerc? No. So it's going to be P8 for Hamilton. And there we're through. Yeah, the only thing I've seen from Sam is to say that if you've got like a, an hour, it just goes on to the end of it. That's the only thing I've heard. Yeah, Dan, Virtue. The new 24 season Virtue. Yeah, Porsche, we'll see it. It's because team scored my opponent. Yeah, that's where it does. It is difficult. The matchups can be a pain sometimes. Fully agree. But at least you're getting four lots of 47. That just means it's the matchups the problem, not you. So, just keep going. Keep the pressure on. Uh, how many points did I get then? Does anybody know? I didn't even look. Oh. What did I get? P1 and P8. Is it 40 points? We got Austin this time. No idea. Math time. I can't remember what I got. I didn't look. I'm going to go for we're on 174. That'll do. Close enough. More Gladiator down to 59. Letting getting lower, but we are around halfway. I know that's not exactly around 41. So, what are we are 175, then we'll, we'll check if we're about halfway. We'll check the leaderboard after this. And if there's someone ahead of me, it's going to be painful. And Austin first corner can be painful as well. Well, I've got eight spinners. I kept them from when the spinner disappeared, because that's another bug that they did. And I'm hoping they stay for the new season, because I quite fancy opening eight spinners on the day one. Now, that would be a good idea. Whether or not it will work, I don't know. But I'm prepared to try it, because I simply don't need the spinner. As we move into P7... Rivals pushing on the Taurus boost, but they're quite far back. 175. Okay, cool. I'll update it after. Well, I won't need to, but you know what I mean. Oh, going backwards at turn one. That is what we like to do. Oh, nearly going backwards again. These are fast out there today. Oh, there we go. Get past Alonso again. And Hamilton's past Strobe. 
Yeah, that, that's the thing, Dan. It's weighing it up. But the question is, do you, you don't know when you're going to get it. I mean, I got brute force last time, so surely I'm in for something good this time. Surely. Got to be the case. Oh, my God. This is, like, painfully slow at the moment. Come on. Thank you. Hamilton P10, Perez P5, P1, 2 and 3 have disappeared. See if we can go up the inside. Yes, we can. P4. Loads of cars here. Where's all these cars come from? As we overtake on the straight. Since when does that happen in F1 Clash? And then we get overtaken in the corner. Standard. Make it make sense. Uh, tricky. I did when I first played the game, but then I quickly realised that no. No. <laughs> I think some people do. P8 for Perez. Rivals pushing on the mediums. He's come from an uh, interesting position. Oh, Logan, David. That's, yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Nobody deserves that. Not 183, though, like I got in GP rewards. Come second in the Champions GP and get Logan Sargent. Wow. Wow. So Perez is the one that's come into form at the minute. The AI are really quick. Look how... I mean, why is Perez, Norris and Verstappen that much quicker? They are flying. Drone home gets 17k every time. There is certain cars... That just seem to be really quick. Like Kevin Magnussen blocks everybody. And he does actually quite fast. He has been quite fast as well. And then the Red Bulls and Norris just seem to disappear. And look, they are like nine seconds clear of me. And I'm on softer mediums. It's not like I'm on bad tyres. But I just can't catch them. They are, look, look how far they are. I mean, I'm in P4 and P6 now. I mean, there's a chance that I can get P5. Oh, Eri, it's painful, isn't it? That's horrid. We can get P5. They are really fast. We, I mean, we've caught Norris up, who's really suddenly slowed. But maybe because we're just pushing Perez. So, we, consolation... We'll catch up P3. It seems like they've slowed down now because we have started to pick them up a little bit. Here comes Hamilton. Sergeant twice in three weeks. That's nearly as bad as Kimo in his brute force. Because he loves a brute force. Maybe we can get P4. Maybe we can get an extra point out of this. Maybe we can lose a point as well. Let's cut that down. Here comes Hamilton. I mean, we pushed this as best as we could. This is not a bad race at all. As we do get P3 and we do get P4, managed to get back that Lando Norris. That will that will be a good solid point. Yeah, I did see that, uh, David. It was his uh, dream, wasn't it, to manage Liverpool, which was nice of him to do. Let's quickly check where we are. This is the moment of truth. 218, Drone Home says. We're going to win Summit. 219. We're finally going to get a P1 crate. And you know it's going to be terrible. You know it's going to be terrible. 219. Come on. Make sure if you are watching, hit the like button on the stream. Make sure to support us. And remember, your strategy guide will be out tomorrow. So make sure to come back and check that out. Oh, God. All right. I never liked this track. Well, in the wet, it's a bit better for us. Gladiator and Gladiator. Easy. 
And honestly, it will be the best boost next season. You can guarantee it and you can think of me when it does. Hey, Dan Villa, I've got to keep the top four first. I don't want to call any other club bottling anything at the moment. All right, good start needed. And it's not too bad. It's into P9 and P11. Hamilton's got good time management. That's going to help him in this race. See if we can get through a few more cars. P8. And this is not a bad start. Not a bad start. P7 and P9. With the massive undercut to come as well. As Hamilton gets into P7. P6 even. Perez into P8. It's not a bad track. But I think it's quite hard on tyres. As now Perez is into P7. Simply lovely. And Rival has pitted on lap one. So they've gone straight for the wet pit lap one. <laughs> we said earlier we haven't seen anyone do that for a while. And there's the first time we're seeing it. And this is about to do six laps, which is impossible. Then, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if they pit again. Because on stream, they're going to be the ones that get caught out. Where we got? I mean, the them front quartet are so fast again. Does this rival pit again? Is he going to be pitting every single lap? And the answer is no. So maybe a mistake on them pitting this time round. Perez gets ahead of Hamilton. Let's pit Perez. Hamilton's going to do the four laps. Toti, welcome. Yeah, Cooper Young, I spoke to Hutch when I visited him about intermediate tyres. I think it's just too much of a complexity. It would require the rain to stay at a certain level, which you can all imagine is probably a bit, a bit, bit tough. Right, Perez coming back out. He's going to drop down the field. Ahead of that would be nice. Thank you. We'll close up the gap. Uh, Fabio probably wouldn't say so. I would... Probably say hold back from spending anything on this game now. And if you go, if you are going to spend anything, I would naturally say new season. Uh, not too sure of it. Not too sure what the reasoning behind it was. So where can we get? We're going to do the undercut. And the undercut is so powerful on this. And this is why it's so powerful. So are you at home? Look at that. Into the lead. Yeah, I'd like to see two different tyre compounds. That would be good. Can't wait to run the same one and see what Hutch do. You have been forfeited the race because you used the wrong tyres. But I was on wets. <laughs> use, use two different tyres in a wet race. Yeah, I could see that happening. Legendary drivers will be here next season. Yes, Justin. Isaac, welcome. Yeah, there should be a different set of legendary drivers this year. That was what was mentioned by Hutch last season, or this season. They said that it would be a new set of legendary drivers each year of F1 Clash. So, potentially some more. Yeah, Fabio, I would save it personally. It's going to be mega expensive at the start of next season. It always is, but it will calm down. As Checo trying to get in P1. Some good points incoming here. And Isaac, yes, Series 12 we are. We are pushing hard. We've done a lot of races recently. And we are as well. If you are watching, we are going to be live tomorrow night as well. So make sure to come back and join us if you're watching tonight. We've been live for about two and a quarter hours so far. We are finishing off a sprint crate. We've got about two or three races left. And if you'd like to see Max Verstappen get overtaken, you're in the right place there. Nicky Lauda would be a good call, yes. Yeah, that's my plan, Porsche. That is exactly what I do. It is a case of, with the crate time reductions, keep spamming them, green crates, gold crates, everything. Yeah, no worries, Twiggy. That's not a problem. Porsche 1000, which club are you in? I know you're an avid supporter of the stream. 
just in generally interested. Uh, Isaac, because I'm in Series 12, I have to use boots. I've got no choice because I just cannot compete in sprints without it. I can't score enough points. Senna. Senna would be a big one. I imagine there's a few more sort of, yeah, difficulties around that. Raikkonen. Mazepin legend. Oh, my God. Got a green crate to open. Mika Hakkinen, few votes for that. Bundeklap. And another suspense, 628. Jay Sheet, welcome. What are we on now? 265. Gerard Piquet, interestingly, is closing. But we are on 265, so we only need probably two races. But we need to score a good 40 points here. More than 40 points. Uh, Fabio, I'd probably wait first of all. Just see what comes up in the shop. See if there's anything good. But definitely recommend early on looking at opening crates. Get as many as you can opened. Do, 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 do. So... Let's go, let's go the softs. This is a tough track. We needed 40 points. This is going to be even worse. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is going to be tricky. If we want to avoid another race. Uh, Strico, so my main account is Series 11 at the moment. Main account drivers in Series 11 start first and second. It'll be the same in Series. In Series 12, I'll probably start anywhere from P2 to P7 with a bad matchup. Yeah, I've got Pros 98 qualifying and I've got Carlos Sainz 95 qualifying. Uh, never had inters, I don't believe, Tricky. Kimi Raikkonen was a legend, a man of very few words. And now we need, we got to get 40 points in this. I don't fancy doing an extra race than I have to. So it'd be very nice to go ahead and score more points than I need. That'd be nice to get into P7. Thank you. And P11. So, good start to Spa. Uh, milestones, I'm not too sure, Justin. They obviously only released them halfway through, near the or even sort of the third quarter of this season. So, not sure if they will have milestones. It might be something that they delay in releasing, but who knows? I don't know. So, I'm guessing like you would. And we're probably going to double stack here. Not a lot I can do. We're on the same strategies. Annoyingly. Hopefully we don't get held up. You can see it just coming in now. We're probably going to lose about two seconds. Yeah, about 1.8 seconds. How did Hamilton... Oh, yes, get ahead of Sergeant. Beautiful. A P20 for Perez. That should hopefully sort itself out. And we've got to try and get past some of the hard tyres. So the cars that haven't pitted now, mainly hards and mediums. So we need to try and take the early pace advantage. See if we can get past Stroll without pushing. The answer is no, of course. We can't overtake on here at the moment. And cut back down. There is Hulkenberg now delaying us. Julian is welcome. Charles Leclerc, has he got 98 qualifying, I think, at a guess? I can't remember, but I want to say he might have, like, 98. So, coming to the pits. And Perez is in some awful traffic. Awful traffic. 
that he might cost us getting 40 points here. 97. Yeah, I thought it was, thought it was weren't far. Oh my god, look at that. We are getting absolutely destroyed through this part of the track. Um, Justin, not sure. Not sure if there will be. Oh, wow. Look, what the hell is happening here now? Why are we getting absolutely... It's rigged. We've just absolutely been put in the wall. By this rival. Uh, it is Frenchy, but it's not going too well from the back. It's going great on Hamilton. You can see Hamilton's up to P5, but Perez has just been stuck behind everybody. He's been pretty unlucky. I mean, it's a very tough track anyway. But we've found it a hard our own way. Hopefully there's a few people in the pits here. We're just so slow, look. We're just not getting anywhere out of the corners. Yeah, usually I do, but I haven't got the tyre management and I wanted to save my uh I wanted to save my tyre boosts. That's the only reason I sent it like that, and I can't overtake because everyone's just getting stuck lot. This track is like up there with Australia now. You just can't overtake lot. Stuck behind. Stuck again. Finally get through that car. But we'll take P5. We'll take P11. Not the end of the world. It is still, it is still 34 points. It's all right. We're on 299. <laughs> oh, it means we have to do an extra race, and we're we're all good though. We're all good. Two nine nine. That was probably the worst track. Watch we'll us get Vegas now or something. Oh, Imola, even worse. <laughs> Depends if you like Imola or not. Yeah, so see, I don't have many boosts alternative on here. I've used my race start gladiator boost. See where we qualify. 12 and 15th. So I am going to run these. I'm just going to get the... I'm going to cement... Nope, not on that one. I'm going to do a 3-3-2, free, free which is nice and easy on the mediums, and then a 4-hard, four 4-hard, four just making it nice and easy. Toki, I like to give myself a little bit of defence in case I mess it up. I like to say it's a hard track, and then just in case something goes wrong, I can say it's a hard track, that's why. Gotta build my defense mechanism in already just in case. But we are gonna just chill with a nice free and then we won't have to use boosts on the last run. As Perez looking at the back of George Russell. He was looking at the back of Fernando Alonso until it went all wrong at the weekend. Let's try and push Perez through this section. Great place to overtake. If we can overtake now. Exhibit A, showing that we can overtake one car. We'll take it, P8. Got to keep pushing on. Oh, just getting stuck. Just saw him at the top of your screen. Finally into P7. Hamilton's got Gasly ahead now. If we can get past him. Oh, GP can be a nightmare sometimes around here. Definitely. So we'll, we'll continue pushing. Is it Helena? Justin. I'm going to go for. Sars a good boost. Sars a very good boost. Frost is okay. Hook's really good. 
because it's got race start. Movember is a really good boost this season. Yeah, Movember you don't get very often, obviously in November. No, Giuliano, he's my best driver. He's the best driver I've unlocked in terms of stats. That is why I use him. Helena. Got ya. I thought it was either that or Helena, so I went with Helena. I was close. I take, I take, I take the credit. I was close. Right, Hamilton in the pits from his 4 4. And you can see Perez has found some traffic. He, he's good at that. Man, that Heike Kovalainen. What a guy. So hopefully we just need to score some decent enough points here. If we get around 30, that will move us up to a nice, easy final race anyway. And as you can see, yeah, life's a bit of a struggle. Got you. Makes sense, Justin. Understood. And Perez just cannot overtake. Overtaking is non-existent on this game anymore. I'm telling you. They've changed something, and I don't like it. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. We we're through. Let's keep pushing and try and build a gap. P7, P9. And we've got Hamilton in P9. Down the straight he goes. P4. Push a bit early. I'll probably do. I'm in a relaxed state of just doing enough to get by. But P4 for Hamilton. We'll just cruise round with Perez now. Just pick up some extra few little points. Push Hamilton as well here. We've got a couple of people in the pits. We'll move us up to P9. Now we can push on that one. So Hamilton doing the one stop worked very well. Four hard, four hard. Perez doing the two stop not as much. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, push a bit early. I get you. Ah, uh, Perez through. Hamilton through. One race to go, I think, and we will get a really bad reward. You can feel it, can't you? You know it's coming. It's going to be something. It's going to be something pretty rough. So, rival comes over. Puts us on 339. So we literally need one more. One more. So we need. Look at that. We've nearly done 20 million. Look at that. We are leading the way quite substantially already. Nineteen point two million today alone. <clears throat> Jesus, that's a tough stint. Uh, only one hour, Toki. Obviously, I'm on the free-to-play account, so I haven't got the premium pit pass, but only one hour. So probably made an extra two million, maybe. But it's been good fun. Definitely want P1. Just take the Series 12 and run. Uh, probably not then. Probably more like five. Yeah, tricky. I've been pretty busy. Uh, I don't need to use boosts. Interesting information came out. Interesting. Right then, here we go. Our last race, and we'll get a sprint crate. Uh, 
Marco and Newton, welcome. We're just on our last race, just about to get a Sprint Crate reward. So you've come at the right time to see it. And hopefully anybody who's watching at the moment is going to be back for our live streams at the start of the new season. This rival's using boosts, so we'll try and combat it the best we can. We'll try going. Absolutely. Not too fussed if we lose. I've got full crate slots, so we're not gaining anything. Uh, I don't know what the matchmaking was in this. I didn't really look. Uh, Cooper Young, it's around the 6th of May. 6th, 7th, 8th of May, that kind of area. All right, come on. Let's just close the gap. Royal's got a tyre boost in Palm. We are closing on the back of them, which is good. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely need a change. Definitely. Maybe something like 5% or a little bit sort of around that area should be nicer. So can we get Perez past Alonso here? Yes, we can. Can we get the rival under pressure? No. What about now? Yes, under pressure rival. Just got to create a gap between the two drivers. That's why I'm pushing Perez a lot more than I'm pushing Hamilton. Because I want to create a nice gap so they don't double stack. And we'll pit with Perez. He's pushed nicely. The rival will come back at us, but that's all right. That is okay. And keep pushing as well. Because Hamilton's only there. And we get him into the pits. So hopefully no double stack in here. Maybe slightly. Or not. Beautiful pit stop. <laughs> Cohen, thank you. Thank you, mate. Alright, Hamilton P14. Gasly P13. Can we get ahead of him? No, we can't. Can we get ahead of him now? Yes, we can. Rivals pushed ahead because they've used their power unit. Shame their rival, their other teammate is back down in P19. And we're in the chaos of everyone at the moment. As we chase down Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso on the mediums. Rivals getting through. See if we can take the victory. Uh, DME Sounds, usually the same time. Uh, I try and stream F1 Manager, but I don't think my internet's strong enough at the moment to do it. So when I get my own house in a few months' time, I will be streaming F1 Manager a bit more. So I don't need too many points here. Don't need the win. Just trying to close anyway for a bit of fun. Can we get past Alonso now? Yes, we can. As it gets pretty chaotic. Try and conserve as we're in P6. P6, P9. Just try and boost it out the corner. Keep that position. Got Lando Norris ahead of us in P5. And we can't get past him. Well, we can't get... Overtaking is so much more difficult. Let's push Perez. Let's finish the job on him. Ugh, P8. Uh, we might take victory. We might not. I think we will take victory by the look of it. Which is always a nice little bonus. Just for a bit of ego boosting. Job done. Job done. We finally win a spring crate. Finally have done it. This better be good. We've been live for two and a half hours. This better be good. P1. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Right. 
<laughs> Obi, you, you could have been nice for one Spring Crate reward. But here we go. It's time to find out. No, Julianis, not Sergeant. We've already had Brute Force. We don't need any of that rubbish. Twiggy's got it. Come on, let's go Virtue. Yes, Twiggy. You have got it. Yeah, he was on my birthday. That's about it, Obi. Leclerc for Toki. Look, we've already had Leclerc in a P2. Can we get Leclerc again? Verstappen for Cooper. I've not had Verstappen pull out one of these yet. Vector. I mean, I wouldn't mind Horizon. I'd take Horizon. Because I need 20 for P a level up. So, here we go. I'm not. I'm going to do the no look one as well here. Gonna do the no look. Twelve stroll. If it's stroll that comes out first, it's got to be good. Leclerc. Zhou Guan Yu. And we have worked our backside off for this P1. So let's find out what is going to be. I need it to be something good. Julian says, great reward. Great reward? Is it going to be something good? It must be Russell. Turkey says, meh. Well, I'll take George. I will take George at level... I mean, we've got him level 6 at the moment. Uh, let's just check out and load this back up. So while we load up this account quickly, remember Strategy Guide is live tomorrow and and we have got our Sprint Crate tomorrow night as well. We're going to have to find a new boost that we want to use. But let's just have a look where we're at then. So if you want a quick update on this free to play, all we've got left is highest Grand Prix event position. We have got the highest we're going to get, P1 Contender. And it's just drivers then, 81.79, 84.19. So we just need some drivers to basically unlock and level up. Perez and Hamilton is what we're running at the moment. Uh, we haven't really got anyone better. George Russell hasn't got very good race start. That's our problem with him. Uh, Lando Norris for this week is shocking for us. Uh, we do have Zhou Guan Yu at level five, which might come in handy. Uh, especially for the qualifying, so that's not too bad. And there's not anyone else really. Leclerc, for eventually when it's the 20%, will be good. Hopefully we can level him up a little bit by then. Uh, car, this is what it's looking at at the moment. We've got 180 Horizon. That's why I wanted the 20 extra Horizon, but not this time. That, that car's looking pretty good. Typhoon is level 5. So, I mean, it'll go down to seven on minus. We could potentially use that. But he's not looking too bad. We just need a few levels. A bit of asset trading wouldn't go amiss. we just got to keep working hard at it. If we can get to that milestone reward and we can get into that for a free-to-play account with no spend, I think that's a pretty successful season. And I didn't start this account until roughly five or six weeks into the season either. So I'd be pretty happy with that. Two month, 50% crate timer. I, I will happily take that all day long. But let's show you. We've got the medals. We've got that P1 contender, which is what we needed. We got that earlier on in the season. So don't have to worry too much about that. And we've got a top 10. So... Yeah, it's been interesting on this account. We got a Q medal for when we didn't bother even racing final round. Well, getting through to final round. But there we go. So that is it, done and dusted. Remember, we are live tomorrow night. If you have watched this video, if you're still watching, hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe as well. Appreciate you all absolutely joining us. It's been a blast of a stream as it always is. And hopefully tomorrow we can get some good rewards 
because I know you at home will be wanting the very bad stuff. Appreciate your support as always, and we'll catch you later on. Yes, 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 that's what I'm talking about.